Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell. Welcome to a brand new year and wish you all a very happy 2020. Sending a lots of love your way this year. I really hope and wish that all your dreams and desires come true in this new year. So today we're going to be testing out a brand new eyeshadow palette. In fact, I have a series of videos lined up for you guys wherein I'll be using some great brand new product. I bought a ton of products from mainly makeup products from HOK makeup from Mintra and from Nykaa and I'm dying to test them out with you guys so we're going to test them together I'm going to review them I'm going to give you my first impressions also going to swatch some of the products for you so today I'm creating this very beautiful sultry pink glittery eye look and I loved how this look has turned out and only using one eyeshadow palette, the brand new launch by Makeup Revolution, which is now called the Revolution Pro. I'm going to be using the new neutrals palette by them. So I'm going to give you my review and also swatch some of the eyeshadows as we progress with the video. So without further ado, let's get started. So I went ahead and put foundation because you've seen me doing a ton of time. So I didn't want to waste a lot of time there. I've uh, used a mix of both of these foundations, the Fit Me foundation from Maybelline and the Superstay in 128 and in 220. Both of these foundations are beautiful and they work so well together. I also went ahead and filled in my brows. I used the L'Oreal Brow Kit today. It's a beautiful brow kit for anyone with my kind of uh, brow color or darker than mine. I bought this one from Hawk Makeup or HOK Makeup. This is the Revolution Pro New Neutral Palette. And it's such a stunning palette with beautiful packaging. This is the external carton packaging. If you see at the back, you will see all the colors of uh, the eyeshadows right here. That's how the palette looks. Obviously, uh, continuing the external packaging, it's a beautiful leopard print, gold leopard print. I am a big fan of animal prints. I really love it. Now, I'm going to go in and show you how the palette actually looks like from inside. Let me remove the leaflet. Now the moment you open this palette it reminds you so much of the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. Now I haven't used the Huda Beauty palette uh, but I have uh, heard about it, the reviews etc. Clearly it's said to be one of the best high-end palettes out there. So I'm not going to be comparing it as a dupe of any other palette but I'm going to be judging this palette on its own merit today and figuring out whether it's worth the money. I bought this from HOK or Hawk Makeup for 1750 rupees. And uh, we're going to try it on and uh, you're going to know my first impressions and uh, whether it's worth investing in or not. So first I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C10. And I'm going to be placing this on my lids, basically creating a base uh, uh, for the shadows to sit on. I know there is a base color in the palette itself, but we are going to be uh, using that for maybe if I you know, decide to go in for a cut crease. I also wanted to let you know that uh, there are a lot of new products that I'm going to be trying this new year and uh, this sponge right here is the first time that I'm using it. This is the Nykaa Master Blend sponge. Um, I would, should say that I use this for my foundation and also for my concealer. So far I'm not very impressed. Now this had great reviews on the Nykaa app and uh, even on YouTube a lot of YouTubers raved about this sponge. Uh, it's latex free, it's nice and you know it's it's fluffy. But I think you can see right here, it picked up a lot of product. That's one con for me. And the other thing is that, uh, you know, it's just not blending in the foundation and the product really well. So I'm not a big fan of this so far, but I'm going to continue to use it and tell you how it actually turned out for me. Because sometimes when the product is new, you know, you don't really like it that much. But as you go in and you use it a little more, um, you never know. So now I'm just going to drip my uh, sponge in the Laura Mercier Loose Powder in Translucent. This is the favorite translucent powder of mine. I absolutely love it because it sets the concealer so well. So I'm really attracted by this color Delight here and I'm going to be picking this with a fluffy brush of mine and I'm going to be using this as a transition color. The next color that I'm going to pick up from the palette is this color right here called Whisper. It's slightly darker, actually a lot more darker, more towards the brown side than uh, the color Delight. So I'm going to take this from the same fluffy brush. I'm just going to close up and show you that I do see a lot of kickback in the eyeshadows here. And uh, the first eyeshadow that I used, this one was not a lot of kickback, but this shadow right here does have a lot of kickback. Um, I don't really mind if the quality of the eyeshadows are good. So I'm just going to take this color and... 
I'm going to go in and put it directly in my crease. So I'm really loving this color Whisper because it is such a beautiful brown nude kind of a color and I see myself reaching out for this shade a lot more because uh, it's a stunning color and I think it's going to make for a perfect transition shade for a lot of eye looks. These eyeshadows are really pigmented for sure. Very impressed with the palette so far. I'm dipping very little and uh, you know I'm really getting a good result. Okay, now I'm going to go in and pick up this shade Zoned and I'm going to place this directly into my crease with a more fluffy brush like this. Now this brush is fluffy but it's very densely packed like you see. So you will see that I am keeping this blending into the crease and just kind of keeping it on the lid, not going anywhere above the crease because otherwise we're going to spoil that entire kind of the ombre look that we've created. I'm going to go back with my fluffy brush and pick up the shade Karma and I'm going to use this as a, a transition color again and I'm going to be blending it very lightly. I'm going to go back in the shade Delight, the first shade that I used in my crease. So far so good, now I'm going to be going ahead with this color Rumor and I'm going to be placing this directly into my crease again, slightly below the last color that I placed in my crease. I'm going to be starting from my outer corner, kind of creating a V and then just blending into the crease. But if you see, I'm keeping it slightly below the last color. Okay guys, now I'm going to be cutting my crease and this is really and honestly the first time I'm going to try a cut crease. So I'm using the base shade here and I'm using a very small brush because it's the first time I'm going in and doing a cut crease and wish me luck really. So I'm just going to pick this up on this brush and I'm going to start from the inner corners of my eyes so that I have full control. The reason why I use a small brush is because that helps you have more control over uh, the amount of um, space that you're using on your lid and you know you have more control over the product as opposed to using a bigger brush. So if you see I'm only bringing this base shade which is actually a base for the eyeshadows. You can use any concealer as well for this. So I'm just bringing this in only until the center of my eyelid. I'm not taking it completely towards the end of the eyes. And then I'm just going to go in with my finger and kind of blend that base shade out to basically just make it look seamless. So now when the base is laid on, I'm going to go in with this very literary color called Golden. I don't know why it's called Golden because it's really pink and really glittery. I feel that it's better to go with your finger with any kind of glitters and uh, very highly pigmented glittery eyeshadows because that will pick up better. And I'm just going to place it on top of uh, the base that we had laid down and I'm going to be doing this very very carefully. If you see I'm just patting the color in. It is such a gorgeous color guys. Look at that. It's so stunning. One thing to remember with glitters and you know very glittery pigmented eyeshadows uh, is that you shouldn't drag them just go in with your finger that's really the best way to pick them up and just put them kind of place them and press them in that's really what I'm doing here okay there were no fallout from uh, the matte eyeshadows but like you can see there is a little bit of a fallout from the glitter eyeshadows that's really expected so once I've placed the glitter I'm going to go back in this color called Rumor and I'm just going to blend. I'm going to take very little in this P15 brush. It's an eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to pat this color where the glitter ends, you know, just to give that very seamless kind of a finish so that everything looks blended in and uh, nothing looks like it's, you know, put on separately. So now I'm going to go in and put the glitter on the other eye as well.
the glitter i must say is very tightly packed in guys and it's going on the eyes beautifully there is a little bit of a fall off from the glitter but very slightly the matte eyeshadows had a lot of kickback in the palette however they blended in like butter and there was no fall out like you can see whatsoever on my face so i would say this is a stunning palette to have it is beautiful and such great quality in 1750 rupees is absolutely superb I really think Makeup Revolution did a great job with this palette. I am a fan of Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. I have so many of those. Uh you've seen me use them a lot of those palettes, but this one is really something different. I just want to show you the palette up close to uh make you see that the glitters are so firmly packed in. Absolutely love the quality on these as well. Uh they are absolutely stunning. The mattes turned out really well. this base shade uh, they could have done a little better job with it but for 1750 and you get uh, an eyeshadow base also i think it's really nice i was able to cut my crease uh, with it but uh, i suggest if you want a more uh, you know a look that kind of is standing out you could go in for your concealer i was doing it for the first time so i felt it's better to go with something that's a cream concealer because you know it's really easy to get that on with your brush So um yeah I mean feeling really confident after having done my first cut crease of my life. So once I've done that I'm going to pick up the color rumor a bit more and I wanted my outer corner and the crease to sharpen up a little more because it's really complementing the glitter quite a bit. So I just went ahead and blended the rumor color in like this and also in the outer corner a bit. So guys I wanted to swatch some of the shades for you the one that is here is another stunning glitter color this is called party the one that I have on my eyes is called golden and this one right here which is not very glittery but it's a beautiful metallic shade is called jazz it up all these shades are so stunning I also wanted to swatch this color here for you called magic look at this color it's so pigmented It's really metallic has that very reflective kind of a look to it not glittery at all and goes on glides on like butter. So I went in with my powder brush from Maybelline and I swiped out all the glitter that had fallen out from uh, the glitter eyeshadow. Before I do my lower waterline I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer again using the same concealer for Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade C10. The shade is not exactly very brightening for me but I love the concealer itself. It's really really beautiful. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier loose powder and I'm going to set that concealer first. The Laura Mercier loose powder is one of my favorite powders of all time. It's a bit pricey but it's worth every single penny. It's so finely milled. I love it so much. I've spoken about it so much in most of my videos. I use that all the time because I love it. and for summers and if you have creasing problem you know uh, uh, my concealers most of my concealers crease under my eyes and they set between the lines but this one really help protect that for a very long time so i'm picking up the shade karma with a flat brush and i'm going to be putting this in my lower lash line On a pencil brush I'm going to pick up uh, this color right here called zoned and I'm going to just take this in the outer corners and keep it in the outer part of the lower lash line right here For my inner corner I went ahead and put this color for real on my right eye and I'm going to do the same thing on my left eye This seems to be a beautiful inner corner color. Do you see how that popped? It's a beautiful golden color. Really really stunning shade. So all the colors in the palette are put together very very nicely. Love the palette. I think it's uh, worth every single penny. It's such a beautiful packaging as well and for 1750 I don't think you can go wrong. The color selection in this is so stunning. If you see you get glitters, you get press glitters, you get some beautiful mattes and also has a base shade. I really feel this palette is very very versatile. The quality on these eyeshadows are also very beautiful. The mattes like I said blended in like butter, beautiful colors. The only thing I felt was that the glitters are, you know, there's a lot of fallout from the glitters, but even if you use 
any pigmented eyeshadows or if, even if you use uh, loose glitters they tend to fall off so i can still see some glitters right here but as far as the uh, pressed glitters are stuck on my eyelids till the time i want them to then i think this palette is really very versatile so all in all beautiful palette worth every single penny i really highly recommend this palette guys to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be using my Pack 52 eyelashes and I'm going to put them on and be right back. So guys, the lashes are on. I decided to switch up the lashes a bit and uh, use some more dramatic lashes. This is the first time I'm using these Pack lashes. These are the Pack M75. Um, I saw these lashes online and I found them so, so dramatic and I thought, why not give it a go? That's how the complete eye look has turned out. I am really loving this very beautiful, very sultry, pink, glittery eyeshadow look totally loving it so love the whole eye look but i feel something is missing i really like going in with this nude pencil from Rimmel. it's so buttery and it's such a beautiful color it just opens up the eye a lot more so i'm going to go ahead and put this in my lower waterline So guys, that's the completed eye look. I also went ahead and added some mascara to the lower lashes and I feel the eyes are looking absolutely stunning. Now we are quickly going to go ahead and do the rest of the face. For bronzing and contouring, I'm going to be using this sleek kit. You've seen me use this for contouring, bronzing so many times. This is the contour shade. I'm going to be using this for contouring and this is the bronzer shade. The bronzer shade has a tad bit uh, glitter to it, but it really doesn't show up on the skin. Uh, I wanted to try the Pro Art P12 brush. This was really recommended very highly by one of the YouTubers uh, who I really love. So Amalvika Sitlani uh, recommended this brush uh, for contouring and she said it's perfect. So I went ahead and ordered this. This is brand new. And this is another product today that I'm going to be using, which is brand new. I'm going to go in in the contour shade very, very generously. And I'm going to start contouring right here i'm going to put the contour and then i'm going to blend it up i really like how this has contoured it's really uh, you know done a great job at contouring really liking this brush I feel it's going to be not just useful for contour but you can you know powder your under eyes and also very specific powdering can be done by this brush so really good brush to have i really don't like contouring my nose because i mean i really have no issues with my nose i like the way it is i feel it's useless contouring a nose but anyway each one to themselves so uh, i think you can go ahead and contour your you can just pinch the brush like that and go ahead and contour your nose also with this so this can be a really good handy brush very fluffy though so it's doing the job of specific contouring i mean it's going in the hollows of my cheeks very perfectly so great brush i'm going to pick up the bronzer shade here and i'm just going to bronze on top of the contour so I've also decided to use this brush to clean up this uh, contour here right under my, the hollows of my cheeks. So I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier loose powder and I'm just going to tap this brush. Wow, it's picked up quite a bit. So I just need a very little. I don't need a lot of product. So I'm just going to go in and create that one very specific line to kind of clean up my contour. For blush today, I'm going to be using this Color Bar blush. It's a really beautiful, stunning blush. It's in the shade a Coral Bliss 014. I'm going to take this Miniso blush brush, which I showed you guys last time. It's a really beautiful uh, brush brush to use. I'm just going to tap in, in uh, the blush, but very, very carefully because this is a really pigmented blush. I'm not going to drag like I told you guys last time. I'm just going to pat this on. A highlighter i'm using the instant glow by 17 this is a beautiful shimmer brick it's a lot like the bobby brown shimmer brick it's really beautiful i usually like to go in the colors in between just swipe my brush here 
and then I am going to tap off the excess and put this on the high points of my face, also on my brow bone, on top of the brow bone. And that's it. It gives a very subtle glow, so I like to kind of do it, you know, at least twice. And with this product, you need to be a bit generous uh, while you're applying this because it's not a highly pigmented kind of a highlighter, but it gives a very beautiful, very subtle glow. Going in with my MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to just spray very generously the entire face so that the entire look, everything comes together and anything that's powdery just melts down. For lipstick, I'm going to be combining two of the Sephora's lip color. There's a very beautiful nude color and there's a very beautiful peach color. I love combining products to see how they work. And uh, these are in the shade 23 and 70. So I'm going to use the nude one, which is number 23, as the base. And then I'm going to top it up with this one right here, which is number 70. So guys, in addition to mixing those two lip colors, I also went ahead and put some of uh, the Deborah lip color. This is in the number 08. So what I did was I just took a little, I just dabbed it on my lips and I just pressed it with my finger to just kind of give that little uh, bit of an ombre effect. So guys, this is it. It's a wrap for now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Now, don't forget to ring that bell because I have a lot of good stuff planned for you guys. I had bought a ton of makeup stuff, some new launches and some of the makeup that I wanted to get my hands on, try out. So there are going to be a lot of new things that I'm going to be trying out in makeup, in skincare and telling you my reviews. And we're going to try a lot of good makeup together. So stay tuned. And until I see you next, take care of yourself. Stay healthy, stay beautiful. Love you all. Bye-bye.